Palaroga Shark Media. Hello and welcome to Taylor Swift Today, your go-to spot for the latest updates on Taylor Swift's music, tours, movies, and personal life. Let's dive into the most exciting news from the world of Taylor Swift. The New Year's celebration was nothing short of spectacular for Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. As 2024 was ushered in, the couple shared a passionate kiss at a glitzy party in Kansas City. Social media was abuzz with videos from the party, capturing Taylor and Travis in a moment of passion as friends and family surrounded them. Dressed to impress, Kelsey donned a sleek suit while Swift shimmered in a glittering dress. The couple was the center of attention, as evident in multiple videos shared by their friends. One such video, filmed by a close friend of Kelsey's, caught them in a sweet embrace as the clock struck midnight. In another clip, a guest captures the celebrations, with Taylor and Travis romantically smooching in the background throughout the entire video. The celebrations followed an exciting Sunday game where Taylor cheered on Travis and the Kansas City Chiefs to victory against the Cincinnati Bengals. Swift made a stylish appearance at Arrowhead Stadium, sporting a Chiefs jacket identical to the one Kelsey wore on Christmas Day. A closer look revealed Tay stitched into the sleeve, a nickname Travis affectionately uses for her. The holiday season has been a time of togetherness for the couple, with Swift taking a break before her busy touring schedule in 2024. Swift is set to resume her heiress tour in February. However, if the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl on February 11th in Vegas, she might have to rush from Tokyo, where she'll be performing her first shows of 2024 to the West Coast to support Kelsey. This year is set to be a whirlwind for Swift, with planned shows in Australia, Singapore, and a four-month tour across Europe during the summer. This Sunday, Taylor Swift was present at Arrowhead Stadium, cheering on the Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, as they clinched a victory over the Cincinnati Bengals with a score of 25-17. to This win was a crucial comeback from their Christmas Day loss to the Las Vegas Raiders. Celebrating the triumph, Swift was spotted in a luxury suite, sharing the joy with some young fans. Despite the team's success, it wasn't the best day on the field for Kelsey. The Chiefs' tight end ended the game with just three catches for 16 yards. For the 10-6 and six Chiefs, this victory wasn't just another win. It secured their eighth consecutive AFC West crown, a significant turnaround after a tough 3-8 and eight stretch that put their season in jeopardy. While there were murmurs about Swift potentially distracting Kelsey and the team, these were clearly unfounded. The Chiefs' comeback against the Bengals, who now stand at 8-8, eight and eight, speaks volumes. During the game, Swift was in her usual suite, surrounded by family and friends of Kelsey's Chiefs teammates, including his mother, Donna. Kansas City Chiefs legend Christian Okoye has stepped up to address the swirling rumors about Taylor Swift's influence on her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, and the Chiefs' performance this season. Amidst a backdrop of NFL fans impulsively blaming Swift for the team's six losses and Kelsey's recent form, Okoye offered a different perspective. In an interview with TMZ Sports, Okoye, a former Chiefs running back who played from 1987 to 1992, firmly stated, Taylor Swift is not on the field. He continued to defend Kelsey, saying, Travis is playing like he always plays, and teams are just doubling up on him now knowing that our receivers are dropping the balls. Okoye pointed out a key tactical change that has impacted Kelsey's game. So when you double up on him and Patrick Mahomes can't get the ball to him, it's a problem, he explained. This shift in defensive focus on Kelsey has become apparent as the season progressed. The football icon also highlighted the difference in Kelsey's performance in the first half of the season compared to the latter part. According to his NFL stats, Kelsey caught 54 passes in his first seven games and 36 in his last seven. Okoye suggested that the solution lies in the wider receiver team. Our receivers, the ones that we have now, if they can work a little harder and get open, maybe Mahomes can have an outlet, he said. But right now, he is not having that outlet. Furthermore, Okoye dismissed the comparison some fans have drawn between Swift and Yoko Ono, who famously faced blame for breaking up the Beatles after marrying John Lennon in 1969. Okoye sees this as a baseless search for scapegoats. When you're doing bad, people have to find excuses. 
and they have to point fingers, especially those who don't like the situation about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, he noted. Those people are pointing fingers and making it up right now. I have to tell you, they're wrong. Okoye's comments bring a seasoned player's insight into the ongoing discussion, suggesting that the reasons behind the Chiefs' losses and Kelsey's performance are more complex and grounded in the game's strategy rather than external influences. More Taylor in just a moment. Taylor Swift is ending her remarkable year on a high note, surpassing a record previously held by the legendary Elvis Presley. Swift now holds the title for the most weeks at number one on the Billboard 200 chart by a solo artist. The latest chart update announced on Sunday showcases Swift's 68th cumulative week at the top, with her 1989, Taylor's version, securing its fifth consecutive number one position. This achievement adds to the Grammy winner's impressive streak, as her 2022 album, Midnight's, also holds a spot in the top 10. Swift's success is highlighted further when compared to other musical acts. The Beatles, known for their historic influence on music, maintain the overall record for the most weeks at the top of the album chart, including both solo artists and groups, with an astonishing total of 132 weeks. Swift's record-breaking year extends beyond the charts. In 2023, she made history by breaking the record for the most number one albums by a woman. This milestone was achieved with the releases of Speak Now, Taylor's version, and 1989, Taylor's version. Additionally, her Eras Tour became the first to gross over $1 billion, and her Eras Tour film set a new high for the biggest box office opening for a concert film. The top 10 albums on Sunday were a mix of new and classic hits. Michael Bublé's 2011 Christmas album and Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday were part of the list, alongside Nat King Cole's seasonal album, Morgan Wallen's 2023 release, One Thing at a Time, and Drake's For All the Dogs. Also included were A Christmas Gift for You from Phil Spector, Mariah Carey's Christmas album, and Pentatonix's Greatest Christmas Hits, which, along with Swift's Midnight's, rounded out the top 10. Taylor Swift's monumental achievements in 2023 firmly establish her as a defining artist of this era, continuing to set new standards in the music industry. And there you have it. Please follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your app of choice. And if you like the show, hit those five stars on Apple. It really helps us out. I'm Annalise Idle. Thanks to Mark Francis and John McDermott. This is Taylor Swift Today.